It's Buzz. And Christy from Buzz and Christy in the Morning. And this is the Buzz and Christy in the Morning podcast. Hey, topic of the day today, uh, were you ever left somewhere as a kid, kind of left behind by accidents? Hmm. Yes. So earlier I shared my story about the Science Museum, but um, I'll share a different one now. <laughs> yeah. This happened multiple times to Christy. Um, yeah. Sometimes it was my parents. <laughs> sometimes it was the school bus driver. You know. <laughs> So we were on our way home from school one day and my siblings obviously didn't care about me either. That's fine. Thanks, guys. Um, so Everybody's trying to get rid of you. Oh my no goodness. doubt. No doubt. So we're driving home and I fell asleep on the school bus. And so no big deal, right? Like right. I'm a napper. Mm. I can sleep anywhere. Same. Right. So we get, I don't know, home and my brother and sister get off the bus and everything's fine. And then, I don't know, like an hour later, my mom's like, guys, where's your sister? Like, did she knock it off the bus? Like, did she still at school? Right? What's going on? Yeah. So she called around, like panicked or whatever. I was sleeping on the bus at oh, the bus driver's house. They didn't realize oh, that I hadn't no. got off the bus. And it was just this crazy thing. Good news. She yeah. only lived like three houses up from us. <laughs> and so it was like a quick thing. One and done. And I was home. So you so. got off the bus, went, walked back to your oh, house. Oh, my and... word. It was horrible. But how scary is that? I think that I, is pretty scary. I was probably like eight. Not yeah, very old. Yeah, you must have been so confused. Like, where yeah. am I? What's I don't going know. On? I was used to it. I was, people. I was lost at the science museum, so it's oh. fine. Oh, my goodness. I think you get used to it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, I I definitely got uh, not less necessarily left behind, but I mean, I you know, I'd go venturing off on my own little treks and, uh, yes. you know, people would be finding me or, or maybe they were just paying people off to, uh, you know, make me more lost. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. But, you know, Michelle said, I got left behind on a field trip to dental school where we got our teeth cleaned by students. You know, the classmate and I were engrossed in reading, and we didn't even realize that everyone else had left. Oh, no! Oh, can you believe it? Oh, goodness. So, Ben from X Gravity Bungie said, my mother left my sister in Canada. She wasn't a kid, but a young adult at least, and it took her a few weeks to get back. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so some people were worried and was like, how does that even happen? And he was like, no worries, guys. The bus left at 9. You be there or or you you don't get the bus. And, you know, that is what it is. Our topic of the day today is uh, we're wondering, you know, have you ever been left behind as a kid? You know, it sounds I'm, bad, but, I mean, it happens, I think, so often, <laughs> inadvertently. It does. Um, I've been left at sporting events. <laughs> You it's like it's happened to me all the time. Like for real. And so as an adult, when I you know when, you know, when I became a mom for the first time, like I had a huge fear that I was gonna forget my kids' places. Oh and then no. yeah, because it happened to me so often as a child that I was like, it must happen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. Oh my oh, goodness. goodness. Now Michelle was saying that my daughter didn't get off at the, the New York subway before the door closed and zoomed away. She was only eleven. Oh I said, no! I'm still traumatized, and I'm sure she is too. Thankfully, another person we were traveling with was with her. I can still see her little face. I felt so bad. Oh my word! Thankfully, another person was there because I can't even imagine how oh scary goodness. that would be. Yeah, for both of you. Like I just want to cry for her. Oh, oh goodness. So, Stephen said he got lost twice as a child, once at the Boston Science Museum. So, there we go. You know, same as me. <laughs> and uh, That's the place to get lost. Yeah, you know? it's a big place. <laughs> and then once when he was in Canada, he said both times the staff gave them him cam- candy to calm down. It worked, but he's not sure if that's a good thing. Oh. Hmm. P98.5. Hey, good morning, Buzz and Christy. Good, good morning. morning. Hey, have you ever been left somewhere as a kid? I kind of did, yeah, but uh, security found me. Security yeah, oh, did? <laughs> were your parents what shocked? Like, is, we didn't even know you were gone. Uh, they kind of knew, but what it was is I uh, went with Dad to uh, Super Bingo down at Foxwoods Casino <laughs> when I was like 10 years old. Okay. And I went to the bathroom, and I went past this box in the boxing ring. And uh, while well, I was playing inside the ring, and then all of a sudden, and, like, I don't know, I must have lost track of time, but these two security guards come in. They're like, hey, your dad's looking for you. The Greyhound bus has been waiting for like oh, 15 minutes no. for you. <laughs> you held up the whole bus back to Maine. Yeah, I held, held up the whole bus. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, I'm glad you got reconnected anyways, so that's a great story. Thank you for sharing. Now, apparently Lowe's is going to give away 500,000 tree saplings on April 22nd, which is Earth Day. How cool. Yeah. So they're inviting you to sign up early for yours because supplies are limited. There's only a half a million for you going around. Only half a million. 
So go get that sapling, you know, and plant it somewhere where it can grow. Oh, so now that you can work remotely, where do you want to live? That's the question for so many people. And obviously, a lot of people moving to Texas, a lot of people coming to Maine, getting away from the big tropical. cities. So apparently, uh, West Virginia is really trying to attract people. They're oh. actually offering $12,000 to you if you move there. And, um, what? And during your first year, you'll get $10,000 cash in monthly payments. And then you receive the additional $2,000 at the end of your second year. That's kind of neat. Wow. So, I mean, looking for a place to make a little money and just move to? West Virginia is going to put twelve grand on the table for you. All right. Cha-ching. Per person? I got questions. <laughs> <laughs> now, the folks that make fancy feasts, cat food. Oh. Apparently, they've released a cookbook for humans. So that you can prepare meals that you can pair with cat food so um, you can share your meals with the cat. That's a no. Yes. Well, maybe for Cooper. He's got DJ cat food. I he does. So, we'll, we'll have to see. I'll let him know about that. Okay. All right. All right.